You're going to run this on down until you feel it. Until you feel the shock cutter hit the main. That way, that wire in there is rolled up and you're forcing that, you're taking that so wire on down. Now. Okay, so now back it off again. And now let him start, you're going to make your tap. You know where your measurement's at? Five, it was five and a half, wasn't it? He was at four. Five and three quarters, right? Yeah, there you go. It was four and a half and inch and three quarters. So but you went you took it to four based on thread, right? Right. So we got four, so five and three quarters should be three. Okay. We don't want to go past that. Height on it or you not like At this point you're not gonna get you're not gonna feed them hard. You should be able to feed this with two fingers like that. Because if you try to horse like that, you're going to flip him over on top of you on top of it. But I'm like, okay. Loosen this, open that valve up, which we had enough leaks that it just let off. Okay. Okay, now you're going to go ahead and take this off. The bot, take the, the machine off. Oh. Unscrew it. Okay, yeah, my knee. I'm going to look, make sure we've got a coupon. This valve. We'll just check and shut it. It may be already. Okay, now we're gonna, we're gonna bring this up all the way and we're gonna hold on to that. Now you can go ahead and open your valve. I'll hold on to that for you. Go ahead and open your valve. Now this one, use your wrench, open the sandwich valve. Which one what? Open this. The sandwich valve, that's this valve here. Okay. This is a bleeder valve, this is your sandwich valve. But you're gonna, like I said, we're gonna lift this up first, so when we get pressure, it doesn't come up and hit you. Yeah. Okay. That's how we've got gas. Got it. So, this is where well, we're gonna stop, or is this direction, right? Or arrow on this machine. He don't have any arrows on. Uh, there's one. Is there an arrow on there? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Alright. So we want our arrow to end up that direction when we're done. Okay. Okay. So you're gonna go down into the main this way. You're gonna spin it so the arrow goes that direction. And then you're gonna sweep it back and forth. You're not in all the way off that way. Push down. Mm -hmm. 
aren't you supposed to be able to go back and forth? Yep, go ahead and turn sideways. Now we're going to go back and forth. I don't think you're in the main. Okay. There you go. Don't go back. If it has pressure on it, it will come up. We go back and forth. Take it 180 degrees. Maintaining pressure. See, when you take both hands off, that's when that's when it's going to pop up on you. Okay. So that's what you don't want to do. I go ahead and wiggle back and forth again. That's good. Now turn it 90 degrees. And what's that on me? Okay. Now go ahead and let's shut it out. Should just be a quarter turn. Right? Oh, should, should, I'll lift it out of there. You should have. And then that's it. Yep. That way you know you've got it. Okay. Spin this off. Now we're going to look at our stopper cup. What kind of conditions it's up in? Rounder than it was yesterday. Put the other one stopper set up to, to stop this direction. So you always want to check that. Once again, this does have a place to build a bypass, and when we get ready to stop this, after you get the bond in, we're going to put a gauge in here to monitor pressure to make sure we don't have a surprise on the bottom. Okay. So, Juan, if you... Mm -hmm. Where was the... This, the arrow? Right. And so, so we, we, want their, we want our arrow to go with the flow of gas. So we're stopping that direction. One of the guys I work with, like I said, we pointed at the welder. We're going to go welding down here, you know. All barrels point to the welder. So, <laughs> so why is this not the same direction as the arrow? Okay, let's look at it. There's any question, we'll look at it. It's going to go in the main just like this. So the flow of gas is going to come in behind it, and it's going to stop her off. It's going to sit right in here. Make it experience. And it's going to go, it's going to sit right in here, and it's going to fill that main, and the, the, uh, Gas, the pressure coming this way is going to push these lips out around the outside edge. That's going to bleed so down. That's why you want it perpendicular. The differential is going to, uh, the differential is going to help suck that in. Okay. And is it, I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect then. <laughs> as far as I bet you like the guy you're working with. <laughs> <laughs> It's kind of like your records, man. They yeah. got to be perfect, right? <laughs> okay. So once again, we're going to hold this up. And we're going to maintain control of that bar at all times. Let's go ahead and open our sandwich. Well, let's check this shut. Okay, now let's open our sandwich valve. Okay. Now bleed that. Make sure it's... Okay, we've got gas. Now go, you're going to go in this direction. When you go down into Maine, you go in a lot easier. You don't tear your cups up if you go in that way. Okay. Your arrow is pointing And I'm just this going to push it down. You're going to push it down into the Maine, and then you're going to turn it this direction. Good job. Okay. And then turn this way. Okay, okay. now Looks straight, like per parallel with the Maine. Now kind of roll this back. Kind of get put some pressure on the back. See, I kind of rolled it down in there. Okay. Okay. So now we're stopping off that way. We've got a gauge on here, which I can get it out if you want, but we, we're going to maintain our gauge on here so we know that we've, we're keeping pressure this way. Now we should have a stop. We should be able to stop that off. Now watch the shaft. Don't let it fly up another no. Oh, no, it's not going to go anywhere. No, it's going to roll it, it may, like this. It may back just It'll a little back more a little with bit. the differential. Oh, uh, okay. So we've got the gas, the full gas to stop this way. You want to, you want to pull on that and see what you, I mean, it ain't hurt anything. You want to see how tight that's in there? Uh, yeah. I mean, he was, he was kind of concerned with the, uh, and the leak you're getting right now is right around here. Yeah. Around that over here. But, I mean, it's, you go ahead and, I mean, it can happen, you know, if you don't pay attention to what's going on, but, uh. So if you want to, you can take a piece of tracer wire and tie from here to here, if, you, if that makes you feel better. Uh, it doesn't hurt anything to do that, that's for sure. Sometimes if you if you mess around, it'll 
screw up your seal. See? And you can adjust that in order to get that right top. You were asking about that, but that's, that's what, what you're actually doing is stopping that flow, so that way you can do it. There's 40, there's 40, ga 40 gallons, 40 pounds, 40 pounds of, 40 pounds of uh, gas on this side, and that stopper cup is sitting right in here. So from from here on, there's nothing. You're, we have the gas controlled. Well, that's what we're, that's the whole idea is we're controlling the gas. We have a controlled stop. So we're going to do our get yes. towards you. Keep your hand on this. Yes, and just bring it towards you. Okay. Now they just equalize the pressure. Now bring it back in 90. I left it straight up. Get hold of it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> shut your valve. They make it look so nice. No. <laughs> You're making it look really You did a good job. Okay. Now open that up. We're going to make sure we've, that your gate's shut. It's shut. Okay. I'll leave that open so just in case something happens, we know it. We'll spin this off. Remember that dry run you just did? Mm -hmm. Do the same thing and you got it. All right. Go ahead nice. and set, just set it right on there. Now set your, screw your bottom on. Put this up gently to the top of the fitting and we're going to hang on to it. Now you can open your gate. Are you all the way open? Make sure it goes this. There you go. Open it. Yep. Go ahead and open it. Like that. Okay. <laughs> wow. Baby, baby, you just have that much pressure on it. Yeah, it does. I don't think you're going to get this one. I'm not sure I'm going to get this one. All right. <laughs> I'm not only qualified to get this one. You didn't act like this. Check your valve open one time. With your open it or close it? Open the rest of the way. Okay, now you can tighten it. You want me to do it? Sure. <laughs> okay. okay, we're going to double check our measurement. I can do this. <laughs> Which is a 14 and a half before we started. Should be 14 yep. and a half now. Okay. I'm going to pull this, lift that back out of here. And now shut your valve. Which that should be dead because we've got our completion flow again. Okay. Open, just open that just a little bit. Open this? Yep. We're just going to open it about that far. Watch your face. A little more. Oh, right there. Stop right there. Now you're going to look down in there. See that valve, that completion plug can't get out of there. That's why I just opened a little bit. But we're looking down in there to make sure that it is actually set. And it is. Yay. Okay. 